Okay, here's a recording of uh, problem number 23 from section 4.2. Uh, we're asked to find the uh, local extrema, the intervals of increasing and the intervals of decreasing for the function given. Uh, f of x is equal to x times the square root of 4 minus x. Um, first of all, I want to make a quick comment about the domain of this function. Uh, the domain of this function is going to be when 4 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 or that 4 is greater than or equal to x, or x is less than or equal to 4. So we're uh, on a limited domain there. Uh, let's take a look at the first derivative of this function. And we get uh, the product rule first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And if we clean that up, we end up with negative x over 2 square root 4 minus x. And then over here, in order to get the same common denominator, we're going to multiply it by uh, 2 root 4 minus x over 2 root 4 minus x. And then if we multiply that by 4 minus x, the old numerator. We end up getting negative x plus... Um, two times these two roots multiplied together are 4 minus x all over 2 over or 2 root 4 minus x. Uh, distributing this through we get negative x plus 8 minus 2x all over 2 root 4 minus x uh, which gives us uh, 8 minus 3x all over 2 over 4 minus x. Now the denominator will only be undefined when um, we're at the edge of that domain. And then the numerator uh, will be undefined for the critical points when, uh, at x is equal to 4, but also where um, the numerator is equal to 0 and that's going to be at um, x is equal to um, 8 thirds. So what do we have in terms of the local extrema? Um, now I'm going to look at the intervals of increasing and decreasing first by looking at the number line and the, the values that the f prime of x have. Um, so we have here at 8 thirds, over here at 4. Um, when we are smaller than 8 thirds, we have a negative, um, sorry, we have a positive slope, because values like 0 is going to give, are going to give uh, positive values in the numerator. The denominator is always, um, always positive. And then when we're in between here, uh, we're going to have a negative, uh, a negative derivative. So if we answer part C first, we can say that um, f of x is decreasing, decreasing on the interval uh, from 8 thirds to 4, and then that f of x is increasing on the closed interval or oh, sorry, open at negative infinity and close at 8 thirds. And then um, we, we're, the function goes positive and turns negative. Uh, for local extrema, there is a local max. Let's see, um, I'm going to need to put 8 thirds into here. Uh, it's going to be at 8 thirds, comma, uh, Let's, let's quickly just find out what f of 8 thirds is. f of 8 thirds is 8 thirds times the square root of 4 minus 8 thirds, which is 8 thirds times the square root of um, well, 4 is, is 12 thirds minus, so this is over 4 thirds. Um, So we end up with 8 times 2 over the square root of 3 
four of six, which is equal to 16 root three over three. Uh, so 16 root three over three there. And then also there is a local min as this function decreases uh, when x is four and uh, y is zero. So that's problem number 23.